And it's Tuesday, November 1st, and CoinMarketCap Espresso is back after a long weekend for another episode of Crypto Espresso. First up, we'll be talking about the situation in El Salvador. The El Salvadorian bank that is in charge of the 150 million Bitcoin fund has cited confidentiality and is unable to reveal the amount of their Bitcoin purchases. A Salvadorian legal aid agency published a denial from El Salvador's development bank to reveal the exact amount of the country's Bitcoin holdings. According to the refusal shared on Twitter, bank Nissel is unable to provide details on its Bitcoin trust in order to safeguard national interests. However, the country's Bitcoin's holdings are not really a secret if you know where to look. President Nayib Bukele has seemingly tweeted the exact amount of Bitcoin he has purchased on the date of each purchase. Our coverage of Bukele's Bitcoin purchases puts the amount at around 2,301 Bitcoins as of September of 2022. That would mean that the country is down about $58 million in their purchases. Up next, Elon's Twitter acquisition has caused Dogecoin to surge over 150% at press time, beating out every other coin in terms of gains in CoinMarketCap's top 100. While Musk's Twitter acquisition has little to do with crypto and, as of right now, absolutely nothing to do with Dogecoin, interest in the dog-themed meme coin can now be seen as a proxy for support of Musk. In fact, since the Twitter acquisition has gone through, there have been an influx of new Doge contracts, with names like Baby Twitter Doge and Anti-Censorship Doge Club. But data shows that out of the 169 new Doge contracts, 42 of them may be honeypots, and 67 of them now have a price drop of more than 90%. In more Twitter news, since Elon Musk has officially become the owner of Twitter, a fair amount has happened. He has fired the CEO, CFO, and a policy chief, floated the idea of charging monthly for verification, and a content moderation council, and has now both become the new CEO and also dissolved the board to become the sole director. Beyond his new duties at Twitter, Musk also runs SpaceX, Neuralink and The Boring Company, making him the de facto leader of four companies at once. However, he now seemingly has some help on the Twitter side of things. Anderson Horowitz tweeted a photo of Twitter HQ this week, writing that he is helping out Musk temporarily with some other great people. I and A16Z believe that this is a hugely important company and can have a great impact on the world, and Elon is the person to make it happen. So tune into tomorrow's espresso to find out what Musk and Doge is up to. And if you have any questions from our stories, and more, make sure to ask Alex in the description below. Anyways, guys, see you all tomorrow.